Every single day, the world consumes over 500,000 tons of sugar. That's equivalent to the weight of 100,000 elephants disappearing into our food supply in just 24 hours. Behind this massive consumption lies an incredible industrial empire worth over $60 billion globally, where a single sugar factory can process 15,000 tons of raw sugar cane daily, transforming humble grass-like plants into the sparkling white crystals that sweeten everything from your morning coffee to the most elaborate desserts. Welcome back to Process Nest, where we uncover the engineering marvels behind everyday products. Today, we're diving deep into sugar production, from harvested sugar cane to precise crystallization chambers where pure white sugar is born. This journey involves cutting edge technology, chemical precision, and industrial scale that will absolutely blow your mind. The sugar story begins in sprawling plantations across Brazil, India, and Thailand, countries that collectively produce over 1.2 billion tons of sugarcane annually. Here's what makes sugarcane remarkable. While most crops contain less than 10% sugar content, sugarcane stalks naturally store up to 18% pure sucrose, making them the most efficient sugar-producing plants on Earth. A single sugarcane stalk can grow up to 6 meters tall and weigh 2 to 3 kilograms when mature. Just 7 sugarcane stalks contain enough sugar to fill a standard 1 kilogram bag. This efficiency has driven the development of sophisticated agricultural machinery. Modern sugarcane harvesters cost over $800,000 each, but can revolutionize plantation productivity. These massive machines feature precision cutting systems with rotating blades that slice through stalks at ground level without damaging roots, allowing plants to regenerate for up to six future harvests. As harvesters move through fields, they process cane in real time. Separation systems use powerful fans and mechanical screens to remove leaves and tops, returning organic matter to soil as fertilizer while collecting only sugar-rich stalks. Valuable cane segments are cut into 30-centimeter pieces and stored in onboard chambers holding up to 8 tons. A single modern harvester processes 120 tons of sugar cane per hour, equivalent to 100 field workers. In one 10-hour day, a single machine harvests enough cane to produce 12,000 kilograms of refined sugar. The transportation logistics are equally impressive. Specially designed trucks with reinforced beds can carry up to 40 tons of chopped cane while maintaining optimal air circulation to prevent heating. GPS tracking systems monitor every truck, ensuring efficient routing and minimizing the time between cutting and processing. When trucks loaded with freshly cut sugar cane arrive at processing factories, they enter precision operations running 24-7 365 days yearly. Typical sugar factories receive over 500 truck deliveries daily, each carrying 40 tons of raw cane that must be processed within 48 hours to prevent sugar degradation. Hydraulic tipping systems empty 40-ton trucks in under 90 seconds, depositing cane onto massive conveyor belts moving at precisely 3 meters per second. These systems handle enormous weight and volume while maintaining continuous flow to processing equipment. Automated sampling systems extract representative samples from each delivery, and within 15 minutes, laboratory equipment analyzes sugar content, moisture levels, and fiber composition using near-infrared spectroscopy, achieving 99.5% accuracy. Any delivery below the minimum 14% sugar content threshold is automatically diverted or rejected, Temperature monitoring ensures delivered cane hasn't exceeded 35 degrees Celsius during transport, as warmer cane indicates bacterial activity that could contaminate entire production batches. The scale of these quality control operations is staggering. Laboratory technicians analyze over 1,000 samples daily, testing for everything from sugar content to microbial contamination. Advanced computer systems track each truck's origin, 
ensuring complete traceability from specific field sections to final sugar packages. This data helps farmers optimize their cultivation practices and enables factories to maintain consistent quality standards. Before sugar extraction begins, raw cane undergoes intensive cleaning using high-pressure water jets operating at 15 bar pressure, powerful enough to strip away soil particles while gentle enough not to damage cane structure. The process handles 500 tons of cane per hour through rotating drums with specialized cleaning elements. Once cleaned, long sugarcane stalks enter massive cutting machines with rotating knives spinning at 750 revolutions per minute. After initial cutting, shredding machines with hundreds of hammer elements break down fibrous structure further, increasing surface area by 400% for improved sugar extraction efficiency. The heart of sugar extraction lies in massive crushing mills, among the heaviest industrial equipment, weighing over 300 tons with foundations extending 10 meters underground. Each mill contains three enormous steel rollers weighing 15 to 20 tons and measuring 2 meters in diameter. Cane passes between rollers under pressure exceeding 2,500 tons per square meter. The process typically involves four to six mills in sequence, with the first mill extracting 65% of juice, subsequent mills capturing progressively smaller amounts. To maximize efficiency, mills employ imbibition. Hot water at 70 degrees Celsius added to partially crushed cane dissolves remaining sugar crystals, increasing overall extraction efficiency to over 96%. The pressure is so intense that cane fiber, bagasse, emerges containing only 45 to 50% moisture, despite originally being 72% water. This dried bagasse immediately goes to the factory's power plant, where it's burned to generate steam and electricity for the entire operation. The mills operate continuously for months during harvest season, requiring sophisticated lubrication systems and real-time monitoring to prevent breakdowns that could halt the entire factory operation. Raw extracted juice contains hundreds of compounds including proteins, starches, and organic acids that would interfere with crystal formation. Purification begins by heating juice to exactly 85 degrees Celsius while adding lime milk, calcium hydroxide solution that reacts with impurities, causing them to form large separable particles. Limed juice enters massive clarification tanks holding up to 2,000 cubic meters. Impurities clump together through flocculation and settle as mud while clearer juice rises. Rotary vacuum filters process this mud under 85% vacuum, recovering up to 95% of trapped sugar. The clarified golden juice contains 14% sugar but requires concentration to 65% for crystallization. Multiple effect evaporation systems accomplish this through five connected vessels where steam cascades from one effect to the next, achieving remarkable energy efficiency. One unit of external steam evaporates nearly five units of water. Concentrated syrup transforms into sugar crystals in vacuum pans. Sophisticated cooking chambers where crystals grow under precisely controlled conditions. The process begins by heating syrup to 75 degrees Celsius under 25% atmospheric pressure, reaching supersaturation where crystal formation becomes possible. Operators add finely powdered sugar seeds to initiate crystallization. Sugar molecules attach to these seeds, growing larger as more syrup is gradually added. Experienced sugar boilers monitor crystal growth through sight glasses, adjusting temperature, vacuum, and feed rates based on visual observation and decades of experience. Crystallization takes three to four hours, producing Massacuit, 55% sugar crystals suspended in 45% mother liquor. Industrial centrifuges spinning at 1,800 RPM generate forces 2,000 times Earth's gravity. 
separating crystals from syrup through perforated baskets. The skill level required for crystallization operations cannot be overstated. Master sugar boilers undergo years of training to recognize subtle visual and auditory cues that indicate optimal crystal formation. They can determine crystal size, purity, and readiness for discharge simply by observing the boiling patterns and listening to the sounds the massacuit makes as it moves within the vacuum pan. This combination of modern technology and traditional expertise ensures consistent, high-quality sugar production. Spinning crystals are washed with precisely heated 80 degrees Celsius water for exactly 30 seconds, dissolving surface impurities without dissolving crystals themselves. Modern centrifuges process 5 tons of mass acuit per hour. Sugar crystals emerge from centrifuges containing 2% residual moisture, requiring reduction to less than 0.1% to prevent clumping. Rotary dryers, cylindrical vessels up to 20 meters long, tumble moist crystals while 115 degrees Celsius air flows through them. Crystals spend 20 minutes in dryers, with temperature gradually increasing from 35 degrees Celsius to 65 degrees Celsius as moisture evaporates. After drying, sugar undergoes final conditioning in climate-controlled silos holding up to 5,000 tons, maintaining 20 degrees Celsius temperature and below 60% humidity. Modern packaging systems fill, seal, and label over 2,000 packages per minute. Precision weighing systems accurate to within one gram coordinate with high-speed machines that create bags from film rolls, fill with measured sugar, seal using heat and pressure, and apply labels. The packaging facility operates under strict hygiene protocols similar to pharmaceutical manufacturing. Workers wear full protective clothing, and the packaging environment is maintained under positive air pressure to prevent contamination. Metal detectors scan every package, while vision systems inspect seals, labels, and overall package integrity. Rejected packages are automatically diverted for reprocessing ensuring only perfect products reach consumers. Modern sugar production utilizes virtually every cane component. Bagasse fiber represents 30% of original cane weight, but serves as primary fuel for factory power generation. Bagasse-fired boilers generate enough steam and electricity to power entire production while producing excess electricity sold to power grids. Sugar factories have become carbon-negative operations. Growing cane absorbs atmospheric CO2, while bagasse combustion releases only previously captured carbon. Filter mud from purification contains high phosphorus levels, making excellent fertilizer return to plantations. Water usage has been dramatically reduced through recycling systems. Modern factories process one ton of sugarcane using just 1.2 cubic meters of fresh water, with 80% recycled multiple times. Global sugar production represents one of humanity's largest manufacturing enterprises. Worldwide, factories process over 1.8 billion tons of sugarcane annually, producing 180 million tons of refined sugar, enough to provide every person on Earth with 24 kilograms yearly. A single modern factory represents $500 million investment, employs 800 to 1,200 people during harvest season, coordinates with over 2,000 farmers, manages 200-plus truck fleets, and can deliver finished sugar within 48 hours of production. As you can see, transforming humble sugar cane into pure white crystals involves extraordinary agricultural expertise, chemical engineering, mechanical precision, and environmental stewardship. The next time you add sugar to your coffee, you'll appreciate the remarkable industrial symphony that made that simple pleasure possible. Thanks for watching Process Nest. If you enjoyed this deep dive into sugar manufacturing, hit that like button and subscribe for more fascinating factory processes. Comment below and let us know what industrial process you'd like us to explore next. Until next time, Keep questioning how things are made.